All right, so here we go with vlog number six, which is about uh, identifying the evidence in the RPC essays that we read. Um, and specifically, uh, we read essays um, about QB, QB, six, six and six and Mihal. I'm just gonna call him sick. Uh, <laughs> QB, sick, uh, gay, cantor, um, and uh, Aleta. Apologies, I am awful with names. Um, to start though, I um, I felt that both uh, QB and sick had um, I could easily kind of just combine those two into one um one solid um significant piece of evidence um that i got in this essay which also by the way was also the whole point of this assignment was to find the most significant piece of evidence we found in each essay so the most significant feature of this essay for uh qb and six essay to me was um how people who also watch television are also kind of facing some sort of addiction in a way and i say this because um in this essay during a study that happened in this essay um the brains the brain waves and are and the brain waves and uh vitals of people watching tv were um recorded and people who um were watching tv kind of had a more more of a sense of like relaxation and I use the word euphoric, um, but that's probably too strong. I don't mean I don't mean straight euphoric, um, but they were just more relaxed, happier, and um, just at peace, based on their uh, brain waves and their vitals. Versus when the TV went off, and it it almost felt like they were sad. Um, they weren't as relaxed, uh, maybe even anxious. Um, which I kind of found to be kind of, kind of scary, not gonna lie. Because um, we don't necessarily feel that, but the fact that it's kind of just been a tested and recorded thing is is, uh, is solid evidence. Um, and I was able to relate the same pattern with people um, facing addictions with drugs, for example. Oh, I think cocaine is a really good one to talk about. Cocaine is, it lasts, and I do not speak from experience. Um, I just know based on what I've been told um, by my dad, who is a police officer. He does not use drugs himself. Um, but cocaine is a very high type of feeling for all of like a minute or two, and then it's just straight downfall afterwards, which... I, I don't know why people take this drug, it's pointless. Um, but the same thing, like when you're on that high for all of two minutes, it's euphoric. Um, with this time, yes, euphoric. Um, and then it's just, as soon as it's clicked off, it's just back to reality and there's that kind of feeling of depression again. Um, for Gay's um, essay, um, I took that the, the most significant part about it was how um, nepotism is kind of like partially a big part why men and women of color are less re represented in Hollywood. This isn't really news to anyone, unfortunately. Hollywood is heavier on representing um, people of Caucasian descent as it is, and nepotism, you know, uh, people of Caucasian descent um, hire families and friends as they see fit roles versus reaching out and trying to find somebody of uh, color which sad uh for cantor's essay um paul cantor talks about um again zombies the walking dead represents uh two different types of apocalypses um the apocalypse in the show which is you know zombies take over the world people try to survive and then the apocalypse um that is the american dream which um i liked how i worded that to be honest um he talked about how the american dream is represented in um different plots of that show and if you watch the show it kind of makes sense um and i like that i like that's something that you have to kind of think about and look into um it's not just given to you and it, it, it so far based on because i've seen it, it it is true um there's huge parts of the american dream that are kind of just crushed in that um show that are 
sort of question reality. Um, and I like how that's represented. And um, finally, in uh, Aleta's essay, uh, they talk about how, um, or the most significant piece of evidence I took from this was um, how satellite TV is becoming more and more obsolete with the streaming services we have uh, access to. I'm 100% guilty of this, like 100%. I have uh, gotten rid of cable a long time ago. I have Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Hulu, Sling. Um, well, my parents have Sling. I just have an account on it. And HBO Max. I have all of these, and I don't... Why, why use cable? Um, if I want... Because, I, again, I love sports. I love watching sports. If I wanted to watch sports, um, I have access to that, too. Like, there's no need to even buy, like, the bundles... Um, for everything, just having the subscriptions enough and you have access to so much. So I do agree that uh, satellite TV is definitely becoming more and more obsolete. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see where it goes in like a year even. Um, overall, um, those are the most significant pieces of evidence I took from each essay. I feel like they're pretty good. Uh, I am not the judge of that at the end though. Um, but very good uh, discussion. I liked it. I like this one as well. Um, and I will have more to say in vlog number seven.